I would be interested in knowing what happened that day. I know it's going to be hard for me to have to relive, but... Well, sir, I, I was at work, so, but from what my wife has told me and stuff, you know, uh, her and her mother and Summer were planting flowers by her grandma's trailer, which is about, you know, 20 feet from the house there, real close to the house. And uh, they, Summer, all of a sudden said, Mom, I want to go in the house. So she said, fine. And her brothers were in there watching YouTube. And so she watched her walk in the door and went in there. And then she went in there and her brother said that she's going to go downstairs and play with her toys. So she went downstairs and then mom came in and says, where's Summer? Well, she's downstairs playing with her toys. And she had that hard for her and there was no answer. So she went downstairs and she was nowhere to be found. Uh, she went out the basement door. The door was unlocked. And, but she's never left there. She might be on the other side of the house. Cause I went out there before and, and called for her. She come out from behind the house cause she, she just has to be outside. She's, she's an outside type, type of person, you know. And, but, uh, she was gone, buddy. And, uh, my wife called me and I said, hang up for me and call 911 right now. And I, I was at work and I called 911 threw all my tools that I could in the vehicle and from uh, from uh, Jonesboro, I, you know, I come out, I, got, I made it out here before anybody because I was freaking out, you know, and when I got home, I drove to the bottom property uh, and I realized that all my neighbors and stuff were coming the woods looking for her and I realized right then and there that she was not, she was not there. I knew right then and there that she she was gone. I just, you know, because she would never leave there on her own. Somebody had taken her out. That's what I, I was going to ask you. Is, you know, is, is she capable of, of no. going through? Is, is they've, they've covered miles of area to search. Yeah, you? no. No, she would never leave because I always, well, for one thing, we have bears and wild dogs. And we got druggies that, you know, come around looked other people's houses and stuff, you know, all hours of the night. But this was like at five thirty in the evening, you know. Which makes me think, you know, someone was laying in wait. I've heard somebody say that these uh people track kids down on Facebook and find them and you know I've heard that story. I mean I don't know, but all I know is she's definitely not anywhere around there. She's, I think somebody's abducted her and took her out of the area. Wow. Well, um, has anybody, have you noticed anybody suspicious? No, and, you know, and they've done such a good job. they followed every single lead possible. They, they have tracked down all kinds of people. <laughs> yeah, they've tracked down everybody. They even, you know, had me in there, you know, and lie detector tests on well, the nine yards. They have to rule out every possibility. Yes, I, absolutely. Yeah, you know, so it didn't bother me to do it whatsoever. But I, I understand that. And a lot of times the parents are responsible. Yeah. It's the history, recent history that's been the case. Or not, or not or yeah. a family member. Right, absolutely, yes. But you know, we don't we don't associate with all that people. We try to associate with church people and stuff like that, you know. And Summers has got a lot of friends in church. They just love her to death, you know. Where do y'all go to? By uh, Seventh Day Adventist, sir, uh, right across the street from Walmart, sir, in Kingsport. Oh, okay. Yeah, we was going to the Baptist church, you know, but when I found out the true Sabbath on Saturday, I wanted to go to a set a Saturday going church, so I thought I'd go check them out one time, and we've been there ever since. Oh, wow. What have you all been doing while this has all been going on? Whatever. Just trying to cope. Just trying to cope with everything. Yeah. Uh, uh, talking to the police, if I get, I mean, I can't be alone right now for some reason, and so if I, can, if I have to, I'll go down there and talk to the police and just hang out with them, you know, because I just can't be alone right now. I can't, I don't know, I just... 
how are uh, how are some of his brothers doing? They're they're coping with it better than me and their mother are. And I, I don't understand that, but I mean, when they really think about it, they they're upset, but but they're coping with it way better. Especially the youngest one, it's like it's like I don't know, it's weird to me, but. But he doesn't seem real to him. <laughs> yeah. But me, you know, I, I mean, the most I've done is watch the news a little bit. I can't focus on nothing. I, you know. What have you all been doing while this has all been going on? What have, Just trying to cope. Just trying to cope with everything. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm talking to the police. If I get... I mean, I can't be alone right now for some reason, and so if I, can, if I have to, I'll go down there and talk to the police and just hang out with them, you know, because I just can't be alone right now. I can't, I don't know, I just, just, you know. How are, uh, how are some of his brothers doing? They're, they're coping with it better than me and their mother are, and I, I don't understand that, but, I mean, when they really think about it, they, they're upset, but, but they're coping with it way better, especially the youngest one. It's like, it's like I don't know. It's weird to me, but but it doesn't seem real to them. <laughs> yeah. But me, you know, I, I mean, the most I've done is watch the news a little bit. I can't focus on nothing. I, you know. Originally, I'm from Utah, and I met my wife in Arkansas, uh -huh. and we come out here to help my mother because she got sick, and then she ended up dying from, uh, uh, I can't remember what it's called, but, uh, but anyways, uh, so, but she left us that property, and we've, we've been there ever since. Okay. We've made Tennessee our home. There's a lot of good people here. When did y'all move here? Um, well, about 13 years ago from Arkansas, I looked a lot to help my mother because yeah. she, she was in need. So yeah. uh, your kids, this has been their only home then? They're yes, sir. Born and raised? Yes, yeah. yes sir. Well, except for my oldest one, he was born in Arkansas. Oh, okay. Yeah, but the rest, I think, yeah, the rest were all born here, yes. And is your, does your wife have a, a, a Wisconsin connection? Yes. Well, her sister about... So my wife's sister come up missing, like, I don't remember how many years ago it was, but they never found no trace of her either. Where, where was that? Um, I, you know, I don't know. I, I, I really don't know. I, I don't know pay attention to any of that part of it. But, yeah. Do you, uh, you know where she grew up? In Wisconsin? I sure don't. I'm yeah. sorry, buddy. Uh, well, yeah, I, do. I have a criminal history. I do, you know, when I was in Utah, when I was younger, you know, but I've turned my life around. I'm doing my best to be a commandment keeper, you know, for sure. Okay. Me and myself, they, could just, they, could, they can do whatever they want to me as long as my kids are safe, you know, that's how I feel. Yeah. I, I mean, I, Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, and so, what what is what is your plan now? I mean, what is your outlook? Well, my only plan now is just no matter what happens, you know, either way, I'm stay in church, be a commandment keeper, and wait for the resurrection day, buddy. Yeah. That's all we can all do, you know. Do you have hope for for summer being found? Well, I have hope, but you know, statistically speaking or looking at it, you know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. It's a tough, a tough thing to think about. Well, yeah, of course, you know, it'd be, I'd, I'd feel for anybody in that position. I'm sure you would too, you absolutely, know. Absolutely. You know, any kid that's being tortured or hurt in any way, you know, and missing their parents and their, their good friends in church and stuff like that, you know, just unimaginable what she's going through. Yeah. That's the only thing I pray for is for peace for her somehow. I wish she could have gone to know Jesus better or something, but she's so young, she, she don't know what all that stuff means in church, you know. You know, but, uh... I don't think God has that against children. Oh, no, not at all. I just wish she had peace of mind, that's all. Yeah. Do you I have think, any hope that this is all going to end well? I have hope, buddy, but... 
you know, he looked at the, the statistics of it all, you know. I mean, the whole, it's, through our church and other churches, this the world, worldwide prayer, you know, was going on for her. So, plus all the law enforcement agents are praying and everybody, you know. We're so just hoping that God will turn it around, you know, somehow, some miraculous way, but, uh, you know. Okay. All right. Well, I know I'm taking up a lot of your time, and I really appreciate it. You're fine, buddy. Thank you so much. Take care, and I'm, I'm praying for you, and I'm praying for your family. Thank you, sir. God right. bless, sir. Thank you.